Hey guys, Scott Baller Socks here with Team Compass. Doing another Compass Build Series video. This time we are unboxing the Kronos Upgrade Kit. There's the full version Kronos, the standalone, and then we have the upgrade version if you already have an existing 7HV and want to upgrade it to the Kronos spec. This is what you're going to want. This is the all included, the optic and the technic versions. So this will have everything that you need to bring your 7HV up to full Chronos spec. So I'm really excited to get this box open and take a look on what we have. See everything comes nicely packaged. Looks like we have the tail fin, canopy standoffs, some extra hardware, the new carbon fiber landing gear. We'll go ahead and take a look at those in a minute. And again, really well packaged. The head and the hardware involved there, the new main shaft, and this beautiful canopy. You can see the nice fine detail. Very well done. Notice we have the holes already pre-cut for cooling for the motors. That's great. Go ahead and unbox uh, the stuff out of the bags here and we'll move on. Alright, with everything out of the box, we can go ahead and take a look at everything that comes with the kit. Again, this is both the Technic and the Optic combined, so this is everything you need to upgrade to the full Chrono spec. And we'll just start here with the landing gear. Again, these are, this is carbon fiber. You're going to use your old tubes, uh, skid pipes, uh, but these are very light. They weigh next to nothing. Help save weight. That is great. We have a new tail fin, and I'll have to double check, but I believe this is a little bit longer um, to help with the, the new rake of the model, so it'll keep your tail out of the ground a little bit. It's similar to uh, the 6HV Ultimate, where it, the tail is a little bit higher when it's sitting on the ground. We'll go ahead and take a look at that later. Very nice. Uh, you got the collar here for the new 14mm main shaft. It goes underneath your uh, bearing block. And we have the bearing blocks. These things are just gorgeous. Have the uh, little set of screws to keep the bearing in. And again, this is 14 millimeter main shaft, so the bearings are uh, improved. Just quite over engineered, probably. But these are from a nitro motor, I believe, is the spec that they came from. Uh, they're open on one end. Uh, they have the seal on the other, very you know, just like a nitro. And they're packed with grease already, so you don't have to worry about that. But these things are designed to run at 18, 19,000 RPM. And we're going to be using, you know, only about, what, 20, 2100? So obviously these are going to hold up very well. Very nice job with that. Speaking of 14 millimeter, here's the main shaft. This thing is just impressive. 14 millimeters, and it's stepped down to 10 on the end, so you get to reuse your Delrin main gear and the uh, the tail pulley you don't have to worry about that and the uh, the bottom bearing block also stays the same keeps uh, the parts similar and you know don't have to re-engineer what you don't need to and it's hollowed out on the top and also surprisingly actually did a, a two stage and uh, hollowed out the bottom as well so very nice piece of work here included is the hardware and again it just goes to show the quality the individual bags for each size it's just nice easy to find and also the finish we have more of a the shinier like a, a stainless look should be good and then also included is a bag full of the new heavy-duty uh, ball links a 2.5 mil 
these have more material on them than the old ones. They're going to be uh, much better. Not going to have any issues with these. These are good. And then you have the canopy standoffs. Love these little guys. The quick release just pops out. Just like on the 6HV Ultimate, you now have it on uh, all four uh, for the canopy on the front and then in the back for quick release. Don't have to struggle with the uh, the front getting the, the 7HV canopy lined up. So that'll be a little bit nicer. You have the frame stiffeners here added. These go on help uh, support the uh, the lower frames and uh, bring that together. And hopefully should uh, mitigate some of the issues in crashing and destroying the lower uh, frames a little bit. So maybe not quite as often. And just more rigid in general with everything. Just goes with the theme. This thing's a rugged, tough heli. Uh, got the landing gear attachments. Put these on the, uh, on the strut so that you can put your pipes in. Again, you use the existing pipes from yours. And uh, fly barless arms. Again, we have the, the screws, the stainless. Very nice hardware. And these are pretty much the same from the 6HV Ultimate. They're interchangeable. Already have the links threaded in. And this is just a nice improvement from the, uh, the old 7HV. Most guys are starting to upgrade uh, to these anyway, so you won't have to worry about that. They're included. And just take a look at this. I mean, right away you can tell that this thing is just massive. And it's beautifully done. Just the quality is great. I love the, I love the finish, and it's obviously larger in diameter. This is what's going to help improve the geometry as well, make things more linear. And obviously heavy duty. And then the meat and potatoes of the uh, the upgrade is is obviously the head. This thing's uh, two piece grips. First off, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at uh, the, that in detail later in another video. But you're not going to have to replace the whole grip in a crash. Very nice feature. And you have the adjustable damping or damping. You tighten this down, and it's going to push on the O-rings going to increase your damping for higher head speeds. Uh, a lot of the guys seem to be running it most of the way down. Backed off just a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at that later. And then also we have the spacers. You guys are familiar with these from the tail on the uh, existing model. And now we have that on the main grips. So these are going to go in. They have the guides on them already. And then you're going to put your blades on, one on top, one on bottom. And that should work out really well, a little bit better than the uh, the washers, I think. So that is basically the summary of what you get in the box. Uh, next video I'll have is just some comparisons, some of the old parts uh, with some of the new. And uh, eventually we'll be putting this on my existing 7HV. And we'll go from there.